So you clicked on this video because you want to come to Poland. Either as a student or as a worker or you're just a tourist. Now, I feel like you need to watch this video before you come because you need to prepare for what you're going to meet. And I feel like a lot of content creators create such videos, but there are a few things that they leave out. And I've made my research and I'd like to share it with you. Now, the first thing that I think you need to know is you need to be very selective of the advice you receive from people who've been here before you. You see, when you come here, most probably you, you've come to Poland as a student. There are other people, most probably from your country, who came here before you, right? And you will obviously go to them to seek for advice about a lot of things. I would love, I would love for you to be very selective of the advice you will receive. Because here's the thing, everyone who's giving you advice is probably doing it out of love and they want to help you. And that's very, very good. But also, they are giving you advice based on their experience. Their advice will not go beyond their experience. So if they have had a bad experience about a particular thing, let's say, for example, in the job market, if a person has been unlucky in the job market, if you approach them for advice, they are only going to be sharing with you from their experiences. So they'll tell you that there are no jobs. They'll tell you that don't even try to apply for a job. Or they'll say, don't even try if you're a student because you won't be able to balance your time. Now, I'm not saying there are a lot of job opportunities. And at the same time, I'm not saying there are no job opportunities. But I'm saying people only give you advice based on their experience. And their experience don't necessarily have to be your experience. So sometimes you just need to try. Even if the person who's giving you advice has tried something and it has not worked for them, it doesn't mean it will not work for you. So don't be discouraged. So just be selective about the advice and be grateful for the advice. Also, when I'm saying be selective, I'm not saying don't listen to advice. No, no, no. I'm saying when people give you the advice, just see, take take a look at the risks. If, if it's something that is bad, right? And then they give you advice and then they say, don't do this, don't do this because it's against the law or it's against the culture, the tradition, then don't do it. But when it comes to something like applying for jobs, corporate jobs, sometimes you just need to, to try. Even if some, some people tell you that there are no jobs, just try. You never know. Now, the second thing I want you to be very mindful of is Talk to people. Please talk to people. You see, Poland can be a very lonely and depressing place. So I'm assuming you've traveled to Poland or you're about to travel to Poland. But the people you know are from a different city than the one you're going to be settling in. Or maybe they'll be from the same city, but they're just too busy with their lives. Right. So most of the times you stay indoors. And when you stay indoors, the only thing is you wake up you shower, you make breakfast, you go to school, you come back and you sleep, right? You The only time you go out is when you maybe go to church, when you go to school, or when you go to the grocery stores to buy a few groceries, right? If you live a life like that, you get depressed very quick. Trust me, guys, on this one. Please talk to people. So if you get the chance, go on social media, Facebook, anyway, find communities, Connect with people. If you are from, if you are a student at school, try to talk to one of you, one or two people. Make friends. Connect with people. Talk to people. Make friends. Go out. Do some activities, some sports. If you're a sports person, if you are a painter, look for a community of painters. If you if you just like to move around, just find something to do. Don't. Just sit indoors, watch movies, and do your assignments. You end up being depressed very, very quick. So please, talk to people. Make connections. Join communities. It will, be, it will help you very, very fast. Now, the third thing, this is very important. Please remove the racist mindset. Now, when I say racist mindset is... Uh, I'm talking about a person who's always looking for a glimpse of racism. Like, for example, if you focus too much on racism, 
right? If someone comes to you and talks to you in a way that you don't like, you may interpret that as racism. If someone provides an inconvenience to you and they're from a different race, you may interpret that as racism when in fact it's not. So if you're always looking for racism, you will all, there's a chance that you always interpret any inconvenience as racism when in fact it is not. So please remove the victim mentality, remove the racism mentality. Of course, I'm not saying ignore racism, but I'm saying don't go out looking for it, right? For example, um, let me try to look for example. Let's say you're in a bus, right? And then you're sitting by yourself and then right next to you, there's an empty seat. If, some, if someone comes in and decides to stand and not sit next to you, you may interpret that as, as a person who's being racist, but in fact, they're not. Maybe they just want to stand. Maybe they do not want to disturb you. You don't know their reasons for not sitting next to you. But if you're always looking for racism, you, might, you may think that, that the person is being racist to you. And another example is, let me just tell you from a, tu from a true story. When I came to Poland, it was difficult for me to distinguish between a Polish person, maybe a Ukrainian, Russian, basically most of the white people. It was difficult for me to distinguish who's Polish and who's not, right? So I would approach people and treat them as if they are Polish when they are not. I would approach someone and say, Jim Dobre, for example, this is the Polish way of saying hello or good day or something, right? I would approach someone and then they told me that they're actually not Polish, right? But it doesn't mean I was being racist. I do not know the difference. I'm still trying to learn the difference between a Polish person and a person who's not Polish who's from maybe Belarus or Russia or somewhere, right? So it's not racism if someone confuses you uh, for a person from a different nationality. If you're from South Africa and someone thinks you're from Nigeria or Ghana or Zimbabwe, it's not racism. They just don't know. So if you're looking for racism, you may interpret that as someone being racist to you. So please be mindful of that and get rid of the racism mentality. Now, the fourth thing I think you should know is if you're from Africa, let's say, if you're, if you're a black person, right? people are going to stare at you a lot <laughs> especially in the public transportation people are going to stare at you in the metros in the bus in the tram people are going to stare at you and this may be a bit uncomfortable at first because you're not used to people staring at you but it just happens people are going to be staring at you and you just need to know you just need to know that people are going to stare at you i really don't know how you you can prepare for this or how you need to treat the situation, but the best thing is to just ignore, do whatever you're doing. If you're reading your book, just read your book. If you're on your phone, just go about your business, but just know people are going to be staring at you. So I just put this here so that you won't be surprised and you won't feel awkward or some type of way. Now, the, th the second from last thing I would want to tell you is, now this is important. Be careful about your gym memberships. Now, what do I mean by gym memberships? So, where I'm from, from Zimbabwe, most of the gyms, you know, you just pay for the month. If I pay, then it's valid for that month. My membership is valid for that month. And if I decide to stop going to the gym, I simply stop paying, right? So if I want to return, I just pay for the month and then it goes like that. But in Poland, it's a bit different with most gyms. You see, when you sign up for your membership, if they tell you that your membership is for one year and you decide to sign up, then it means even if you want to stop on your third month, you will still need to pay for your membership fee up until the end of year because it's an agreement. This is something that I didn't know. And when I came, I just thought they have the same system as, as from where I'm from, right? So I ended up signing up at this gym. I went there for three, three months and then I relocated to a different place. So I couldn't really continue going to this gym. So I sent them an email that I won't be able to continue with my gym membership at that, at that gym. 
I'm probably I will probably go to a different gym which was closer to my new place of residence but then they told me that according to the agreement I wasn't able to cancel the gym membership so I ended up paying for the rest of my the rest of the of the year it was about 9 months 9 months left and I paid for the whole 9 months because of the agreement and I didn't know so if you are coming to Poland and you want to join a gym please make sure you understand everything about the gym membership make the people explain to you about the gym membership now this is going to be a challenge because not everyone is going to be able to speak in english because really here in poland the official language is polish language even if you are in business or you are at government offices the official language is polish so some people don't even bother to learn to speak english some polish people don't even bother to learn to speak english because their language is the official language so if you know where you're polish then if you are planning to just remain in poland then you don't really need to learn english right so please be mindful about that and i think this is everything and if you think i left out a few things please write them down in the comment section so that people will always get value on this video and from your comment Until next time please don't forget to share don't forget to like and to subscribe see you